it's max from the max creation if it's your first time to come to this channel please consider subscribing don't forget to hit that notification bell Kuwait scraps what we call the vaccination PCR testing for incoming travelers remember we've had a lot of travel restrictions from all over around the countries of the world and why countries have been putting forward what you call the travel restrictions is just because of the pandemic of the COVID-19 which has left all the economies different economies different countries of the world in what we call uh, situations that are not good especially when it come to health sector and we talk about what we call economy and all sectors of the world so there have been a lot of restrictions the travel restrictions from one country to another and why are the travel restrictions being put from one country in another is that to make sure that it restricts the spread of the COVID-19 and uh, COVID-19 from individual and from country to country so definitely we saw a lot of restriction from around 2009 to 2019 which have been putting forward travel uh, where you needed to have a lot of uh, a lot of requirements or you needed to file to follow what you call a job regulation for you to move from one country to another for right now the the kuwait the kuwait government or kuwait scraps of what you call the vaccination and the pcr testing for all incoming travelers so all incoming travelers all incoming travelers in the UK wait will be allowed to come into the country um, without even the vaccination or without what we call uh, PCR uh, testing restrictions. Remember, that was the unofficial news that was coming from the Kuna that would report it that still the government of Kuwait Street said is that uh, um, a wearing of masks both indoor and outdoor will be an uh, option. However, to some extent, for those people that will feel spromatic of COVID-19, patients must wear what we call mask. For those that will feel that have some kind of symptoms that are so much related to COVID-19, or you anticipate you have some symptoms, or you have some signs, or you have some uh, uh, kind of things that show that uh, it may look like COVID-19, then probably uh, as per the regulation or by the government is that they, they, they advise you to put on the mask and also isolate yourself for a couple of 14 days, such that you can try to evaluate yourself uh, um, accordingly. However, for all people that will be going to Kuwait or people traveling to Kuwait, they will no longer be needing what you call a PCR test or they will no longer need what you call um, uh, vaccination. However, to a safer side, if you are definitely vaccinated and you've been vaccinated before, uh, using the approved doses of the COVID-19, then probably that is also safer and that is also for the good benefit or for the good, what we call the book, good benefit of you in one way or the other at that side. However, as per the government, it says all the, the vaccinated and the uh, uh, vaccinated and the unvaccinated people uh, could be given access to public places regarding their vaccination settings. Remember, the PCR test will no longer be needed to travel or to come uh, and uh, will never be needed to travel to come into Kuwait or will never be mandatory. Uh, that you will, all people, either vaccinated or unvaccinated, will just be given uh, uh, given the same will be given the same opportunities or will be given the same uh, services. What does it mean that all economies or may, uh, uh, meaning that the Kuwait government is trying to open up the economy so that uh, the, uh, the economy can go back to its normalcy and they can move on and move as they had agreed. However, the government still stresses or it stresses and say quarantine restrictions for those who may have close contact with the COVID-19 patients. However, they are put on masks they will be quarantined or they will quarantine themselves for 14 days and get a PCR test with 14 days of contract. In case you have uncontact or in case you have a contact with the person that you think had COVID-19, as per the government, for your case, you will have to isolate yourself, isolate yourself for 14 days. Then also within the 14 days, you will have to take what we call a PCR test to verify or to not to, to actually prove that you are no, you are negative of COVID-19 at that situation. And uh, remember, uh, it still says that uh, this this quarantine can also be done in what you call quarantine. You can quarantine yourself at home for five days until the end of the quarantine. Then you can move up 
in case you don't see any signs or in case there is no any other sign that comes across then probably you can try to move on and continue with the, your your work at one or the other that is part what the government of kuwait is saying or what the, the publication of the government of kuwait that is going to open up the economy and um, all people go back to normalcy and uh, wearing masks out to do or indoor or no longer be compulsory and still the government also says or oh, um, it's also uh, stresses that the unvaccinated fans would also be allowed to go back to the stadium to support the sports that if it's, it's going to be a very good opportunity however still what we have to stress that much as they are talking about the unvaccinated it's mandatory if you definitely have the opportunity to take the COVID-19 vaccine take the the, 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 the COVID-19 vaccine and you feel if you feel you have sportomatic or you have those signs that you think are related to COVID-19 isolate yourself or uh, home quarantine yourself for a given time of days until you get to find out um, uh, the real status you can also take a PCR test to prove your status at the end of it all and uh, some uh, people who are traveling to different countries you definitely know what we are, we are talking about if you definitely well, you have that app that shows the vaccination uh, the vaccination app the uh, vaccination apps uh, from different countries you definitely can use them and um, uh, move to a different country like some airlines they will require you to have some countries at the airport they will require you to have that and good enough for the gcc countries when you look at the gcc countries definitely uh, you will definitely the app you have in uh, Kuwait can be used in Qatar, the same in uh, Thoraz in Qatar can be used in Kuwait like that. The one in Dubai can also concurrently be uh, used in any way so long as it shows the vaccination status in one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, uh, consider subscribing and supporting this channel. It's Mix from the Mix Creation Team.